Yeah, why are you single? Mm. Oh, okay, we'll still ask. From your, pat your last relationship, name one thing that you did wrong and one thing that he did wrong. Mm. I'm not answering that. Okay. What's good, YouTube fam? It's your girl, China Ahu Party, coming to you live. So Arlette's popped the balloon. She had a reunion that just came out, and there was one segment with a woman that would not answer the question why she was single, all right? This is her chance to explain why she didn't answer it. And I just want to look at it, talk about it. Let's get right into it. So obviously, uh, accountability was a word that was thrown around a lot during your segment. When they, you know, when they were referring to you, they were calling you purple dress, you know, all through the comments. So let's see what people were talking about and why they said that. Yeah, why are you single? Mm. Oh, <laughs> okay, we'll still ask. Um, you are handsome, you're definitely my type. I just did not like the question. I feel like when men ask that sometimes, they're trying to find something wrong um, and I'm single because I'm single. I haven't met the person. I just didn't like the question. So you can tell in her mind, her response made sense, right? But the question, why are you single? is a good question. It's an opportunity for her to show that she's grown from her past relationships. She's held herself accountable. She knows where she went wrong. And also maybe her partner went wrong in some areas. She didn't have to assume that he was looking for something wrong in her. If somebody were to ask, why are you single? And they said, Psh, I don't know. That's a clear indicator that they're not reflecting on their past relationships and not changing one bit. So she could have answered in a way to show that she's learned from her mistakes in the past, her choosing certain people in the past, and also express that she's now ready for a mature, healthy relationship. And he would have loved it. From your, your last relationship, name one thing that you did wrong and one thing that he did wrong. I'm not answering that. Okay. Lack of accountability. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh, I thought it was so cute. So, Shayna, what do you have to say, you know, about the comment saying you just have a lack of accountability, you didn't want to take any type of accountability when it came to some of these questions? What do you have to say about that? Okay, so, honestly, when I filmed the episode, I left there on such a high. I was like, oh my gosh, this was so fun. And I even spoke to my match, Jeremiah, and a couple that we went out with. I'm like, they're going to drag me a little bit because I wasn't answering some questions. But I didn't know it was going to be to that extent. I'm not going to lie. Y'all came from my life. <laughs> Hell yeah, people want to know that, even outside of a dating show. That's a regular question. I find myself asking, what happened in your past relationships? I feel like that's a modified way of asking, why are you single? Everybody asks that question. And on this dating show, you got to get to know each other pretty fast. So she could have gave a surface level answer. And then if they wanted to know more later on, once they got a date, she could have let them know more. It got a little deeper. But to pop the balloon off of something so simple... It seemed like she showed no accountability. It seems like she had no self-awareness. I wouldn't come for her life. I wouldn't be DMing her and making bad comments about her, but I see why people were making a big deal out of it, I'll say. I know I can't go back and fix, fix the past. Um, I can only grow from what happened. Um, when I first was reading the comments, I was like, no, you know? But I had to sit down and think about it. If two, 3,000 people are saying something, something, I have to change something, I have to fix something. So I went back and watched the episode and if I could have changed something, I would have answered the questions. Um, one of my mistakes that I made going on the show was I live a somewhat private life and I'm going on a public platform mm -hmm. and thought that I couldn't, I didn't have to answer certain stuff. And I learned that that was a big mistake. Facts. Anybody who chooses to go on this show, if they want to participate, they have to air out some of their business. That's how this show continues to run. That's how people get to know each other. That's the whole game. It's a dating show. The woman, she's also in this reunion too. She wouldn't reveal her age. Everybody reveals their age. That's actually a very important thing to reveal. That's one of the main things we want to know. <laughs> How old are you? If you choose to go on this show, you got to be ready for that. Um, I'm a very accountable person, but um, so my match on the show, which was Jeremiah, shout out to Jeremiah. Um, I, I could, honestly, I, should, I, I did apologize to him um, after the show that I should have given him the opportunity to pop if I didn't want to pop my balloon. I should have let that up to him. Um, and then after the show, I did answer the question to um, answer his question. And the first guy that asked, you know, why am I single? Um, I could have answered that question too. So, you know, I'm watching the episode and, you know, I, I got a lot of positive feedback and I got a lot of negative feedback and I can only grow from what happened. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So I love the fact that she actually sat down, took a look at the comments and realized that multiple people were saying the same thing. And typically when that's the case, there's truth to it. She was on a different page than everybody else. She's on page six. We're on page 25. You know, she she had to catch up. I love the fact that she's not stubborn about it and she was willing to learn from it. That's pretty dope. So just to open it up to everyone. Yeah, that's the biggest red flag ever. The very first thing you should ask someone when you're talking, especially I'm talking to dudes, is like, 
what happened in your previous relationship and what did you do for that? We had that conversation about what I did. I mean, aside from the show I'm talking about. But, um, and then I had a conversation with uh, Chanel about that. But that's the first question. What did you do for that relationship to quote unquote not work? Because most, and no feminist type stuff, but I'm not saying, but most women or most people were just gonna say, oh, it's just the guy, he did this, he did this. No, and that's a red flag in itself. If, somebody, if they can't say one thing that, what's hard about dating you? That's a question you should ask anyone you're speaking to. And yep. if you don't, if you can't answer that, what's hard about dating you? You can't say one thing that's hard about dating you, stay away from that one. Exactly what I was saying is basically asking what happened in your previous relationships? Have you grown from it? Simple things, people learn patience over time. People learn how to compromise over time. There are a lot of things we should be learning in our previous relationships to eventually get to that solid relationship that's going to be long lasting so yeah he said everything that i was thinking absolutely okay, well, let, let me address him before you speak um i do agree with you and like i said I, I learned from this experience um and if you guys remember i did say we both did something wrong it wasn't just him it wasn't just me it was both of us collective but in that moment like it's action cameras are you know, none of this was rehearsed, y'all. When we go on this show, Arlette don't meet us with us in the bag. This is what's gonna happen. It's literally action, and just that was the first thing that came to my mind. Well, you I'm know, and I, I'm, let, I'm sorry, like, let me wait, finish. Let me finish. Ahead. Um, when I spoke to Jeremiah, and I did answer the question. I'm not perfect. I have fallen. You know, and I do take accountability that I did do things wrong in my past relationship. If I could go back and fix it, you know, and I apologize to everybody that I did get upset, I would have answered the question. There's no way that I said I was perfect. I didn't do anything wrong. I not, did not say that one time. So people are saying I'm a red flag because Nobody of that. Nobody is perfect, yeah, including no one is, you, honey. Yeah, no one is perfect. So it sounds like she just didn't know how to briefly explain why she was single with all those cameras on her, a little camera shy. I guess that makes sense. But at the same time, why did she pop her balloon so fast with that question? It's like you completely eliminated these guys for no reason, no apparent reason. You know, and I, I, I apologize to, to my match. You know, I can only grow from the situation. So I did say what I did wrong and what he did wrong. And we both moved on from the situation. Absolutely. Well, real quick, real, 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 real quick follow up. So, but you're saying like, oh, none of this is rehearsed. When you're saying oh, th all these cameras and stuff, well, why wouldn't your first reaction be to tell the truth? Okay, so I didn't lie. I did not lie. In that moment, I was the only one. Who, so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm addressing the moment with me and Jeremiah. I was the only one who still had my balloon at that moment. The only person. And when he asked me that question, it... It was honestly, it was just me guarding my heart in that moment because I was in a room full of strangers. I didn't know anyone and that was just me protecting myself in that moment. And I didn't feel like it was like a safe environment for me to open up myself in that manner. I didn't know anyone to just start saying stuff about me. Had I had gone back, I would have absolutely answered the question. It was nothing bad, it was nothing scary, you know what I mean? I was just really guarding myself in that moment and it, it, it didn't turn out the way I thought it would have turned out, you know? But moving forward, if that question is asked to me again, I will answer it. So we, we, we're on a public platform, so we're looking for transparency. I agree. So when, we asked, when they asked the question and the first thing you do is pop, in my mind, automatically is you ran. I can see both sides a little bit. She's saying she's trying to protect her heart. Maybe it was something deep. And she's a deep person. She doesn't know how to explain things on a surface level. She has to get into it. So that's how she naturally responded to it. But again, popping the balloon, it made it just seem like a red flag. She didn't want to take accountability. She has no self-awareness. I am glad that she learned from it. And it will give her the chance to kind of figure out how she wants to answer that question without getting too deep or defensive about it. So what do you guys think about it? Drop a comment down below. All right. Until next time, I'm China. I who party. I'm out.